heavily armed groups have terrorized people in towns and villages in central and northwest Nigeria for years. Now security officials are stepping up efforts to crack down on some of the violence. On Wednesday, the Nigerian government branded the criminal gangs as terrorist groups. In a television interview, President Muhammadu Buhari said, we labeled them terrorists, we are going to deal with them as such. The bandits, as they are known locally, have been responsible for mass abductions and kidnappings for ransom and destruction of property. Some politicians believe the security measures will help to ease fears. The people there will be very happy with what the federal government has done. And that will also give the federal government the opportunity to, to deploy all all means both to, i mean they try to give them some kind of non-kinetic moves but this time around they can use both kinetic and non-kinetic moves to to checkmate this uh, menace the government order means the military can deploy more military hardware including seeking international support but this security expert feels the government needs to do more at the political strategic level I think they completely have a wrong perception of what the situation is on ground. And so their reactions have always been extremely slow, lack of proactiveness and preemptiveness. They have never really visited the issue with the sort of urgency you expect a country that is at war to be able to bring to bear on the situation on ground. Security agencies seem to have made a headway with the recent release of some hostages and the reported killing of some leaders of the armed group, with political leaders seeking soft landing for repentant fighters. The, 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 the bandits, most of them are, are, are not literate. So there is need for governments and uh, also all communities to rise to, to, to the issue of seeing how we can get these people rehabilitated. We can get education as one of our cardinal points. We can get agriculture as one area that we should concentrate. Security is expected to be a major talking point ahead of general elections in 2023. It remains to be seen if President Muhammadu Buhari would have fulfilled his electoral promise to end insecurity before handing over. Fidelis Mba, Al Jazeera, Abuja.